Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahole, the Second Swing Golf, and today I'm joined here in the tour van by Stacy Sazama from the Minnesota Golf Association, and she is going to get fit for a driver today. So, uh, Stacy, first of all, thank you for taking the time mm -hmm. uh, to join us today and get fit. So, uh, can you maybe first to start by maybe telling the viewers a little bit about yourself and your golf game? Sure, sure. So, I work for the Minnesota Golf Association in membership services, nice. and that's where I support and provide education on handicapping and course rating to over 420 of our member clubs and 90,000 wow. individual golfers who have yeah. a handicap index. Yeah, there's a, Minnesota is a pretty strong golf community, isn't it? It as, sure is. As you know, for sure. So um, now Stacy, coming in today to get fit, um, I guess you've got, we're new to driver fitting for you today. Mm -hmm. So yeah. maybe tell the viewers a little bit about your game, maybe how often you play, um, mm -hmm. handicap index, you know, things like that uh, to kind of set the groundwork. Okay, well, first off I'm left-handed, mm -hmm. so it's always tough to find clubs yeah, yeah, um, that are first off ladies and are left-handed. Yeah. Um, and so uh, I'm hoping to yeah. find a, a good fit for that. And I play golf um, probably, let's say three to five times a month okay. during the season. And um, I'm a bogey golfer, so right around 17 or 18. Okay. Um, and I'm looking just to gain distance consistency yeah. and accuracy off the tee. Yeah, totally. And it looks like you've brought in your current driver, which is a mm -hmm. kind of the Cobra uh, Max, sort of a, is it like a lady set driver? Is that what it yes, is? Yes. Yep. Okay. Yep. Um, I'm just, a, I think it's a senior flex yep. and just looking for something just um, based on how my game is today. Totally. I'm going to need some changes for Absolutely. sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's kind of the cool part here is you're, you turn around and there's all kinds of clubs and, and also we can make adjustments maybe potentially to that in terms of the shaft as well. It's mm -hmm. a, optimize it for you. But um, I think I think now, are we ready to get fit? Yeah, let's totally. get fit. All right, we're gonna mm -hmm. bring in Mr. Tyler Fitzel, our master club fitter, and uh, we'll start fitting right now. Okay, sounds good. Hi, Stacy. Great to have you today. Um, taking a look at drivers. Uh, would love to uh, maybe see if we can't find something a little, uh, a little longer or a little straighter based on our conversation a little earlier. Mm -hmm. um, wh what we wanna do today is a couple of things. First, we'll just get you warmed up and hit, hit some shots kind of let you uh, feel for the space and what's going on. Um, two, we'll take a look at, at what your club is doing. Okay. So I got a couple of highlights for that. We'll take a look at some of the numbers and I'll explain what we're looking for. Then the third part to that is kind of hitting some drivers uh, in, in today's technology uh, that might be a little bit better. Maybe it's a little higher or lower, or straighter. Um, and we'll also kind of wrap that up by um, taking a look at uh, possibly some adjustments could be a shaft could be something in that club okay so let's get started by just hitting yeah. a couple of shots right. sounds and good see where you're at perfect I'm hoping this one's a little straighter yeah uh, uh. it's okay We'll talk a little bit about that, you know, in terms of straightness, what's that doing and, and where that's going. Mm -hmm. and okay. maybe one more. So I've hit one to the right, I've hit one to the left, so hopefully yeah. this one will go down the middle. They'll, they'll, yeah, you'll, you'll even it out. That's how it works. Good. So let's take a look at a couple of things. I, I like to, to kind of break things down into the numbers that we're talking about, but also the idea about um, from your perspective is like, what are we looking for that's better? There's four things that happen to a golf ball when we hit it. So there's the speed of the golf ball, so how fast it moves. Mm -hmm. There's the launch angle, or the way that it takes off into the air. There's the amount of spin on it. And we talk about spin as a total spin, although I know sometimes it may, it may curve in a different direction. That's a part of, of the spin as well. And then there's the, the direction. So, or dispersion to that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So one of the things we're looking at, if we look up here in terms of the, av the average number, one of the things that we're talking about here is the average for your driver. So this happens to be a Cobra and the ball speed averages 110 miles an hour or about 15 degrees of launch, 3,800 RPMs of spin carrying about 158 yards, going about 176. These aren't good or bad, that's just where you're at. And mm -hmm. for the best shot of the day, we look at 113, so a couple more miles an hour of ball speed, but the launch was very close to the same, the spin very close to the same, but we're seeing a, little, a couple more yards of carry 
and a few more yards of total on that. Um, okay. The one thing that I look at is in, tr in terms of getting a driver to today's technology is making some of the, the miss shots better. That means if we can get more ball speed out of a missed shot, or if we can get uh, something to fly a little bit straighter out of a missed shot, and that's the technology that we're looking at. You can see here uh, the highest ball speed down to even the, like some of the lowest ball speeds. That's where our distance comes from. So that's one of the, the keys that we'll look at is to try to get as much as possible in terms of ball speed, because that gives us our distance. Also, we're gonna look to maximize the type of launch and spin for each shot. If we get a really good number in terms of how it gets up and how much it spins, we can get something to move farther, but also straighter. The other thing that a lot of people ask about is, you know, where, where's my club speed? And we do have the average club speed is right around that 80 mile an hour mark. That's good. It's not, it's not um, something that I have to concern myself with, which is like, all right, we're not gonna be swinging 100 miles an hour. So as a result of that, um, if we have 80 miles an hour, we want to get the most out of uh, every shot that we can. Mm -hmm. So that's something we'll look for as well. Let's start with talking a little bit about your choices. Is there any particular manufacturer that you're interested in? I know you have Cobra in your hand. Yes, I like Cobra, um, possibly Titleist yep. or TaylorMade. I'd yep. like to check those two out. Um, but really, I'm open to any manufacturer. Great. I guess whatever fits best. Let's just start with that. And uh, let me go grab a Titleist and a TaylorMade and mm -hmm. let's hit some and just kind of see what happens from there. Okay, very good. So um, what we've got here is a Titleist TSR-1. Happens to be their newest model, but in this, it's a little bit lighter and also has uh, a little bit more launch to this. So mm -hmm. this is a 10 degree. Um, with the swing speed being around 80, we're gonna start with something in a ladies flex. Just tends to be a little bit lighter. We'll see as we move along here if I need something heavier. Because it's not whether it's a man or a woman. It doesn't matter if you're young or you're old. It's really truly about the weight of the shaft and the club that produces the best result. So we'll find out whether or not we need to go heavier or lighter, or even for that matter, longer. Okay. Let's hit about right. four or five and see what this does. Sounds good. This one feels a little bit lighter than my regular club. Okay. Which might be good. Not bad. Okay. That's a, that already just matched your highest ball speed, so that's a good start. I think I hit that one off the toe a little bit. Yeah, a little. Good. This is one of your longer ones already. I feel like with the lighter club, I, it, I can move it a little bit faster. Good. We'll take a look at that and see what happens. Yep. There's your best of the day. Nice. There's your new best of the day. All right. Yay. So one of the things we'll look at is just a quick comparison. If, if we're talking about where you were to where you are, you can see I've got both of the uh, shots from your current Cobra driver to the Titleist driver in our, in our chart here. You can see the two shots up here that we were talking about that were your best of the day. These are the last two shots that you had hit. Even if you look here at the bottom, this average number, 113.8 ball speed to 110.6, mm -hmm. we're up about three miles an hour. And if we look at it in terms of average, you notice that 157.9 as an average, or about 158 yard carry, to the 155 carry. Okay. So the carry distance is maybe down a, a few yards, but then you take a look at the total distance with that ball speed, you see 176 to 184. Mm -hmm. And so immediately, we have a little bit more distance to it on average. There was a shot that was a little bit off to the left, but right and left isn't totally my concern just yet. The first thing I want to identify is, can I get you some more ball speed? And I look at this and I say, here's two shots essentially to four shots for the Titleist versus your current Cobra. 
and you notice that th these these two are very similar to what you did with your best in the Cobra, and mm -hmm. these two are beyond. Yes. And th this shot, in, even in terms of distance, isn't much different there as well. So the average is really good. Um, one thing you mentioned about swing speed is that you may be able to um, swing it a little bit faster. You actually didn't swing it I faster. Didn't. You actually, now the last two swings were 80, 80 miles an hour and 79, but the first few swings as you were getting, maybe just getting comfortable or, mm -hmm. or adjusted to this, it was a little bit slower. And that's not good or bad. That's just getting comfortable. So one of the things that we look at as well um, is what, what I like to talk about as the optimizer. In other words, what would be the, the, the type of carry distance and the type of total distance that I would expect to see out of a club if it's performing at its peak. And essentially these bars you can see here are in blue. Blue is good. And blue would give us, one, I would say a perfect drive minus the direction because we don't know which direction this is. But in terms of the ball leaving the club, it had great ball speed. It had a really nice launch. It had enough spin. It should carry 173 if it were perfect and you're just a few yards off of that. And it would go 195 yards and you were like one yard beyond that. And then in terms of direction, it was just slightly to the left, but it was still in, our, it was still in the field of play. Right. You know, th these two lines on the outside indicate 25 yards to the right or left. And generally a fairway is around 40 yards wide, generally. And so this, this sits in, in, inside the fairway lines for the most part. Okay. And that's good too. Yes, everybody likes the fairway. Yeah. All right, let's try something like uh, the TaylorMade. Let's try this. So we got the uh, TaylorMade Stealth 2. Uh, it's a 10 and a half degree. Again, we've got the ladies flex in here, which is a very identical to the lash app. Mm -hmm. And the reason I want to stay with that is I want to compare more of an apple to an apple for the moment. The shaft is something that we look at but it's, it's something that we kind of look at at the end, if we can maximize. The first thing I wanna know is, am I in the right loft? And do I have a club that's giving us um, maximum distance and forgiveness? The other part of that too, as I was mentioning, is like, I'm not really concerned about right versus left just yet. Okay. Because there are adjustments with this. If I find something that's already working longer and straighter, and I don't have to adjust, that would be really nice. Mm -hmm. But we, we have that leeway or the ability to make some of those things happen. Let's give this a shot, hit about four or five and see what this does for you. Okay. Okay, good start. Okay. There we go, nice and solid. I'm not sure if that one's still in the fairway, but let's no. try this one. Probably not, it's okay. I'm okay with this. It's All not, right. it, isn't, it isn't the ball speed that we've quite seen, although we did have our, uh, we kind of matched the, the ball speed on um, one of the shots here, 115 miles an hour. But this is basically performing much like you, your uh, current club. Yes. You can see that uh, just as an average, it's about 176 yards with your current Cobra versus about 178 versus that 184 in terms of distance. So um, it's, it's more so that there's a little bit more ball speed than where you were, but it was also a little bit lower on the launch side of it. So, you know, for that, I, it's okay, but I'm not sure if that's beating your driver just yet. Let's, mm -hmm. tr let's try another one. Actually, let's try Ping. Okay. And, uh, and just see what that does as another model, maybe even another, like a Callaway. Sure. And um, see what happens with those. Okay, yeah. So this is the Ping GLE3. It happens to be just the newest model to this, uh, this lineup Ping released. Um, let's take a look and just, again, see, does this produce any more ball speed? Does it give us any more forgiveness? And may maybe the look or feel even changes for this. And, See where the ball goes. All right, nice and straight. Good start. Again, nice okay. and straight. Like that. Oh, even favoring maybe a little to the right. Okay. Still pretty good distance, too. Let's hit another one. Should I try one more? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, 
Yeah. And I don't that, think that one was my best shot. No, it wasn't. But but even for that matter, is like it, it's still nice and straight. So when we start to talk about some of the uh, the attributes we were earlier, right? Ball speed, launch, spin, and direction. Um, certainly, this didn't win our ball speed as an average, but that could have just been the the first and last were a little lower on that. Mm -hmm. But this was this definitely wins kind of the straight straighter award to that. If we look at this as an average in terms of the optimizer, we're really kind of missing off almost 20 yards on the, on the carry distance side, more specifically because of some ball speed or maybe even the launch. If we look at that tailor-made, it's kind of in the same position. We're missing 20 yards on the carry. And if we look at, at the Titleist again, you can see that we're missing, but not, we're missing half as much, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. we'd probably like to see that if, if the, just the, the launch condition of the, the title is if the launch angle comes up, which we can change. So that's, that's an adjustable feature to this. Um, that would benefit us in, in getting that ball higher in the air. And that actually would probably carry a lot farther in the air and also roll a little bit farther. Both okay. go hand in hand on that. So that, that's really good. Um, I, I like to hear things like um, when you put the club down and said you like the way this looks. Mm -hmm. Look is a very important feature. And there are some people like through the years, we've seen the white headed or white painted drivers and people just either I love the white or I can't stand that color or there's certain shapes or there might be certain color patterns on things. Um, that also matters. And so like um, what in terms of the look between the ones we've tried, the Titleist, the TaylorMade or even this pink. Um, what stood out for the look between them? Was there kind of like a rank? Is there a ranking you could put between them? What uh, was the best looking to the worst looking? Gosh, I think, I don't know, for some reason, this ping just looks nice just when it's up against my ball, um, looking at the blue yeah. um, head of it. Um, I guess, I mean, the TaylorMade was okay, uh, but I don't, I don't know. I just really, this one caught my eye for Good. sure. So... Let's take a look at one more. Let's have, I'm going to grab a Callaway and just see what we've got in that because I think that would also be, you know, we're talking about the industry leaders. We're talking about a Titleist. We're talking about a TaylorMade. We're talking about a, a Ping and a Callaway. There's no bad driver out there for anyone. Mm -hmm. It's finding the right one. It's finding the combination that gets us that ball speed, launch, spin, and direction. And for that matter, a lot, all the drivers have a legal limit. It's like there's no company that can just make something do better. We got to look at and see what's going on with the clubs in general that way. Let me grab a Callaway. Okay, thank you. Okay, so here we have uh, the Callaway Rogue ST Max. And this is um, 10 and a half degrees as, as much as we've been uh, um, playing with the other drivers as well. The ping was 11 and a half because that's the only loft that it comes in. All the rest of these at 10 or 10 and a half. Um, same thing in the shaft. We've got lightweight. We have a ladies flex. They're all the same length to that. So we're not trying to get something that's longer versus shorter just yet. Mm -hmm. Let's see what the Callaway does for you. Okay. 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 Good start. I think that was very similar to the first one. It was, and actually they're maybe uh, just a few yards apart. Right. That's okay. Consistency, right? Yeah. Nice. A little better. Nice straight one, too. Let's do one more. Absolutely. That one felt great. Well, that, that was the best of the day. We saw that, that carried 176 and, and it went 201 yards. Oh, yes. Yeah, you know, so uh, really nice on that one. Uh, we look at a couple of different things. Ball speed, best of the day. Launch and spin, we're in a great spot. And then we see 176 carry. That's the best carry distance of the day. Mm -hmm. And then we see uh, 100 and, um, uh, 201 yards, so the best total distance as well. Yeah, that, that's absolutely excellent against anything else that we've seen yet. Um, the other shots were also nice and straight. They weren't the worst that we've seen mm -hmm. on that. They're pretty average to that. Um, one thing I'm wondering on that one too, 
It's like, I wonder if swing speed plays a role in that. So I'd, I'd like you to swing another one with this. Go after it. You know? Okay. See what happens if you go after it and you hit just... The worst thing in the world is I'll go get your range ball in here. And there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see it's what happens. It's easy to pick up. They're right in here, yeah. Yeah, that's also 192 yards. That's really mm -hmm, good. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. It felt swing, good, too. Yeah? Mm -hmm. With swing speed, um, that one didn't quite catch the club head speed. No. But even at that point, we already know that at 116.9 or 117 mile an hour ball speed, those are the two fastest ball speeds of the day. They're also two of the longest distances of the day. So both of those are, are excellent to that. No, it felt really good. I felt like I had control. Good. As I yeah. came through and, and hit the ball. The, re the result is there on that side of it, too. Mm -hmm. Well, let's hit another one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's, and that's the second longest drive of the day. Mm hmm. That's really nice. So we, like we take a look, yeah, yeah, we, we take a look at this as an average and the first couple of shots maybe weren't the, the, the best of the day, but they were nice and straight to that. You look at the last four shots that you've hit with this, and they're all up past the 180 mark towards the 200 mark. So from a distance perspective, the first few shots with this versus the last few absolutely capture the best of the day. Yes. We see our best ball speed. We see a launch and a spin that's, that's excellent. We see the most carry distance, the most total distance. Now, part of this as we talk about it is this idea about, well, what do I keep and what do I throw out from, from a numbers perspective? Uh, we look at the average, and the reason that we want to look at that average is because when you go out on the golf course, you're also going to have an average. Yes. You're not just going to have the best. And again, that's where I said is, can, can we get better on, on our misses as well? From a directional perspective, this absolutely is going straighter, which I really like. All of these are in play, even if we had one that was a little bit shorter. So this is really nice. Yes, this is great news. Let's, um, let's go back on, on one other driver, and that was the Titleist. And the reason I want to go back on that and make an adjustment because I would like to see a little bit more height out of the, the Titleist. So I'm going to add a little bit of loft to that club and see what happens to that club. Otherwise, I'm really liking where the Callaway is because of its distance as well as its direction right now. Mm -hmm. um, how does it look? I think, yeah, it looked great yeah. when I had it on the And it feels uh, good. The yes. Yep, yeah. it felt good. Those mm -hmm. are key components. Yes. That's excellent. Okay. So we're back to the Titleist TSR1 that we had tried earlier. This time I've adjusted the loft and um, see if we can't get the ball a little bit more in the air. By the numbers, this was gonna give us some really, really good numbers with just a little bit more loft. Mm -hmm. So let's try that. So when we look at the data, one of the things that I really enjoy about, about this is we start looking at, at what we see up here from ball speed perspective, launch perspective, spin perspective, direction. Mm -hmm. This Callaway driver for us beats everything, right? We've got more ball speed. In, in some cases here, you're about five miles an hour faster, which is where you're gonna see some more of that distance. Okay, okay. Yep, and so would you say I increased my distance by like 10 or 15 yards today with that, my new yeah, driver? Yeah, good point. Um, Generally speaking, every one mile an hour we gain is about two and a half yards. Mm -hmm. And so as we start talking about five miles an hour on average of ball speed, you should be seeing somewhere into that neighborhood of about 15. And if we look at where we, where we started to where we are, just as a, a, a comparison, we started off with, we started off with about 110.6 and we're on average to 112.2. Okay. Um, one of the big factors is we see our average carry went from 158 to 163. And we see our 176 total distance goes to about 187. We can also look at this in regards to the best to the best. 
Your best ball speed with your Cobra driver was 113, where it carried 167, 185. And the best with this Callaway was 117. There's, there's on average about four miles an hour. You carried it 178, which was um, excellent. That's about how far you were hitting yours dri your driver total. Now okay. it's in the air that long. Oh, this and is you're great. seeing out there about 200 yards. So yeah, you're in, in between about that 10 to 15 mile an hour farther, mm -hmm. or sorry, 10 to 15 mile an hour yards farther, just based off some ball speed to it, uh -huh. but a lot more direction. We kept the same sort of launch, but reduced spin. So it's, it, it carries farther, it doesn't curve as much, and it rolls out even more. It's awesome because I'll welcome any yard, extra yeah. yardage that I can get. Yeah, and, and this, is, this is what we look for in a fitting, is we're looking to try to make uh, some of your, your average shots, maybe some of the misses, a little bit better. Mm -hmm. If you look at some of the, the least distance you see at about 175 yards, they're no different than 175 yards with yours, but they're straighter. And then on average, the better shots are all a little bit farther. So I'm looking at the best shot with your Cobra driver being about 185. That's, that's where everything else kind of starts, 185, 192, 196. It's starting there, to, yes. Yeah, it's starting there. Mm -hmm. So it's a huge yeah. difference. Yeah, big mm -hmm. difference. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Thank you.